Hi, my name is Obaidur Rahman. I am a data scientist. I am going to share with you my open source project called Enlavida. It stands for Natural Language Assisted Visualization and Interactive Data Analysis. Let's first talk about the benefit of using this code. Why should you use this code instead of anything else? There are three C's of reasons for that. The first one is confidentiality. You can work with your files that are confidential and you will not have to upload these files to any service providers. So all your confidential data, internal secret data remains within premise. You do not have to worry about privacy. The second C is customizability. This is completely open source. So you are able to see the source code and you can start with that and build on top of it. If you have a problem that you are trying to solve, you are trying to build an in-house solution, you can start with this and build your full-fledged in-house solution. Third one is cost. Right now you can use it with an API to a large language model. So you only pay for how much you are using the large language model. You do not have to buy subscriptions to any sub service providers. So you can scale it according to your need and this will save you a lot of money. In order to show you an example how you can use any data, you can have any files. Here I'm showing you a CSV file. Uh, the data belongs to the Ames housing. So let's take a look. You see a lot of different columns here, right? They are some features of housings. So there could be many interesting ones like how big the plot is, how big, uh, how many rooms are there, how many bathrooms are there, how, how many cars are there in the garage and so on, year of build. So all these things possibly affect the price. So the last column here is the sales price. So usually this data set is used for predicting the house prices. Can you fit a machine learning model based on this data and predict uh, for the unknown cases, the sales price. So let's go to the front end here of Enlavida and we can upload this file. Select the file. Now it says the file uploaded successfully. Would you like to briefly describe its content to me? So it's a good idea to give the large language model some information so that it has some idea what this data is about. So we are going to give some very basic information. There are a couple of text here, a couple of sentences, and we'll copy them. This basically says that this is about M's housing and it has uh, about 3000 properties sales data uh, from 2006 to 2010 and a few other uh, information. So we'll copy this here and submit. Now this information is stored in the system prompt so that the LLM has some idea what's going on, what to do with this data set. Now we can start asking questions. The beauty of this solution is that you can ask questions and get your answers just using natural language. You do not have to use, you know, open up an Excel file, uh, do plotting and such things. Neither do you have to know Python codes to do complex analysis. You can simply ask it by natural language. So let's take one example. Sales price. So there must be a distribution of the sales price, right? So let's take a look how expensive housing can be and how cheap they can be. Where do all most of the housings belong? Let's take a look. So we ask, what is the distribution of the sales price? And so this prompt that we have given, this is a user prompt. This will be augmented with the system prompt that we have given before. And this will be sent to the large language model. And this will provide you the answer. Let's see what it has shown us. So it has given some basic information about the distribution, but we can just take a look at the distribution. So distribution of sale price, 
and you see the housings can be from very very cheap to very very expensive and they are mostly uh, around yeah between 100,000 and 200,000 dollars and there are a few houses that are very very expensive now let's ask another question in this particular data set it is very important and interesting to understand what are the major factors that influence the sale price so we can ask what are the top three factors that influence the sale price please show the correlations let's copy it and paste it here ask and love vida now what it's going to do behind the scene is try to first figure out which three factors out of all those factors that we have seen are the, str are the strongly correlated to sale price and it has figured it out it shows that overall quality is the most important one then the living area above the ground and then how many cars are in the garage that kind of makes sense perhaps you can ask how they are correlated with the sale price please show how each of the factors are correlated with sell price using scatter plot. Let's see what we get this time. So what's happening behind is that this prompt is given to a grand agent and the grand agent has access to some other agents like Python agent. So the Python agent takes this instruction, takes this question, and it has access to something called Python REPL. The Python REPL has the ability to execute Python codes. So behind the scene, Python codes are executed and the visualizations are produced. So the first one is number of cars in garage. So if the garage is big, the house is most likely big. So it will be more expensive. That kind of makes sense second one is overall quality there are some statistics in the data set that measured how good the house is so if the quality is high the price will be higher that also makes sense and here is the ground uh, the area above the ground so obviously if the house is very big the price should also be big that makes sense let's take one last example it is also interesting to know how the sale price change over the time so let's ask how did the sale price change over uh, change every every month yeah so this will give us a trend like is the house pricing going up or going down what is the trend over the period of time so it's again opening up the csv file and making the plot so you see, from 2006 to 2010, the prices, the house prices are varying in going up and down. So you can have an estimation of how the trend looks like. So you have seen an example where you can upload a file and then you can do data analysis and visualization with it, just giving natural language instruction. So you can take the code. I will share the link at the bottom. You can clone the repository and use your own files and do analysis and visualization and let me know what you find out it can work with any type of data so you can give me feedback or you can contribute or you can interact with me with three c's the first one is comment i'd very much like to know how you find this code if you have any trouble if you have any questions if you have any suggestions please make comments second c is contribute this is just the starting point i think that this has the potential to become a very very useful tool but it needs a lot of work i'm going to continue working on this but if you also would like to contribute to this open source project please do so i'll be very thankful for that and the whole community will be thankful for that and the third c is collaborate if you have an idea that you want to take this code and develop into something that will solve some of your problems 
and if you want to work with me i'd be very happy to collaborate as well thank you very much for watching all the best